See, there's only three reasons you can't get rich in the world today, which is either you're stupid, you're lazy, or you're arrogant. And I find the most common one is lazy and arrogant. It's not stupid. There's nobody at home who is too stupid to become rich. I'm sure anyone watching this podcast right now, if you were to sit down next to me and I were to say, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, you could do it. Of course you could. But you're too lazy to learn how to do it yourself. And you're too arrogant to listen. And you're too arrogant to listen. It's not about being stupid. You're lazy or arrogant. It's one of the two. Those are the two most common factors of people. So when I meet people who have truly failed and they pretend to me that they didn't want to fail, I know they're one of the three. And it's usually arrogant because when I sit and say to them, you could have got out, they don't say, you're right, I could have got out, I didn't try. That shows humility. They don't do that. They say, no, 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 because it's a uh, 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 excuse, excuse, someone else's fault, the matrix's fault, no self accountability. Oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about anyway. Arrogance, arrogance, arrogance. Sounds like feminine arrogant. mindset to me. Well, yeah, exactly. And then it's going to lose. Yeah. So I catch myself being elitist, and I try very hard not to be because I don't consider myself a rich man. I'm a poor man with lots of money. And what's scary about being elitist is, if I'm from a Luton council estate and I have a bunch of money now and I see the common man as a lazy idiot, imagine how the elites see that. And then you start to really go down the rabbit hole when you understand these people who've been in charge of the world for a very long time who own the banks, who believe they're genetically superior to us because why not? Their family's always on the bank. They can be a fat loser, but they just believe they're something because why not? They have a big boat. That's just what they're going to believe, isn't it? Mm. Imagine how they view the common man. You think they give it? about you or your family or your income or your wages? You think they care about you? You think they're gonna make life easier for the common man in the next 10 years as you've just asked? Or are they gonna to continue to decimate your lifestyle for their own forever profit? There's no light without dark, which is a basic fundamental law of the universe which can't be broken. And especially as these large companies want forever profits, which they do, and they own everything. Like, I don't think many people understand. If you go into Sainsbury's and you look around at the brands, you will struggle to find 10 brands that are owned by the same company. Yeah, yeah, the whole sure. thing's owned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same company that owns Sainsbury's owns every brand. It's all, they own everything. So if they want forever profits, which they do, they're not gonna do that without- Owning everything. Well, well, and also you, you have to take that money from someone. If they can make you poor so they can get richer, they will. Mm. If they own all the assets, they want inflation. They want inflation, they don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care you can't feed your family. Why would they? 